This is Outdated, and welcome to Beta Test. This is episode 47, and this is my second episode looking at Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And while I am recording this, I believe the game has actually been released. But I have snuck my way up to this helicopter. There's a crate there. There's also some bad guys over here somewhere. They really think we're going to find anything alive out here? Hiding in the reeds? Stone said not to underestimate these guys. Don't let your guard down. I am not worried very much about fighting these guys. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak over here. Okay, I know there's a crate here. I'll go back for that item it wants me to get in a minute, but I want to get this crate. Let's see what it got me. Ah. Okay. A rifle with a scope. I think it's time to equip that. Allow me to go long range. Thank you very much. Let's swap out. Okay, let's sneak back over here and activate the automatic plot maneuvering device or whatever you call it. What do I do? Oh, oh, X to check, okay. Mayday, Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. That can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleet out. Okay. Well, that was direct enough. So I'm heading that away. Alright, let's make our way over here. Watching the map, there's a red dot up there, a little bit of red. Yep, there it is. So I need to go ahead and figure out where they are. The movement in this is smooth. I will say the cover, it's, um, you stick to it, but it doesn't stick in a very easy way. Um, it's not like, say, a Gears of War cover system where you hit a button to go into cover. You kind of have to just kind of sidle up to it and slide yourself in. I'm going to go around this way and avoid them completely. Uh, so I noticed the screen, whenever I'm in stealth, it goes all dark. Which is good, because it's letting me know that I should not be seen. What's bad, though, is it makes it hard for me to see anything. But I do get it. Oh, they're on the move again. Well, good. Well, at least they'll leave me alone. And wants me to go that way. It's a major road that they paved. I think I'm going to totally steal their car. It's a thing to do. Where should I go motorcycle? Nah, let's go with the car. Drive. When I played this beta during the private invite, I actually pretty much went straight to where I needed to go. I didn't spend a lot of time exploring. I think this time I'm going to spend a little more time seeing what's slightly off the beaten path. And I see 
a vehicle up ahead and that vehicle is pink which tells me it's in an area I'm gonna go around and let's go on out see if I can take these guys out okay where did the radar go this happened first time too all right looking there's one hello there the radar's back I don't know why the radar like disappears like that it seems to be whenever I'm like getting in and out of a vehicle because I, I have noticed this as I've played all right let's just go around this way there may be some stuff in these buildings I can actually loot Reach ancient ruins. Done. These are the ancient ruins. Hmm. Don't take this the wrong way, but these ancient ruins don't look that ancient. Okay, there he goes. There's a crate right over there. Hmm. It is cool, though, this little area. Okay, let's climb on in here. Anything of use? Nope. So yeah, this doesn't look like something that would qualify as ancient. If it were made of untreated wood, it would have rotted by now. If it were quote-unquote ancient. What are you? Carvings. Now that is ancient ruins right there. That's something. Okay, I had to put a clip together here. I just moved the camera is all. But I wonder what this means. That I would explore. I would be curious about. So I wonder if these buildings were built to facilitate the study of those carvings. Right there they are. Let's see. This way, where are you guys? Go around this way. There's one. There he is. Hey, these guys eat pain and shit hot lead. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not. <laughs> and I'm here hiding somewhere. somewhere. Funny. Nice job, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, with your humor. Well, especially since you keep staying in the exact same area, you moron. Oh, crap. Okay, this guy. Let's wait till he goes the other direction. Right, he's walking off. Got it. Let's see if we can sneak behind him and take him out. Oh, crap. All right, that was pretty brutal. I like it. All right. The other guy doesn't seem to have noticed. Here's the thing, though. They were sitting there shooting the breeze. I wonder if he talks enough. Oh. There you go. Well, that was cool. Um, I wonder if they, he talks enough and the other guy never answers. If he'll start to realize the other guy's dead or something's up and goes looking for him. Guess I won't find out right now. I'm going to see what's in this box. Maybe another gun. Or not. Skell credits. Whatever those are. Awesome. Just heading back to the Jeep. 
I think I'm gonna take their Jeep. I mean, I've already killed them, so stealing their vehicle isn't really any worse. Okay. Let's go ahead and get in and do this. So last time I did take these guys out whenever I did the closed beta, and then I basically just drove, and I did have to fight some... Like, there was a point when I had to fight people. I had to, like deal with somebody but the rest of the time I was able just to drive and so I think this time I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring off the beaten path Look right here what is up with that Godzilla looking statue see these question marks on the mini-map what exactly are these question marks okay one of them looks like there's a crate nearby let's see let's go ahead and get out And there I went the mini map again. I think there was something down here. Of course, if I had the mini map, that would really be helpful. Oh, that's not exactly a great place to walk. Like my HUD's completely disappeared. The mini-map and all that. I feel like the mini-map is somewhat important. ADS, maybe that... Alright, now that made my weapons and stuff pop back up, but... Where's the mini-map? Come on, mini-map! I believe in you, mini-map! Stupid mini-map. Okay, Ghost Recon people, that's something you guys need to fix. Make it so the mini map's like there all the time so I can make decisions. Can I shimmy down here? Looks like. If I had the mini map, I'd know if I'm going the right way. Whoa, is this. No. Hmm. Alright, and that, that's annoying. That lack of mini-map is annoying. What do we have here? Just make a run for it. I might as well go all the way back here and go back up to the vehicle. I don't understand why that mini-map has never popped back up. But hey, that is that more sculptures? It is. And there's the Godzilla-looking thing. wonder if there's anything special about it. Go, go, Godzilla. Okay, I haven't seen the minimap pop back up yet. I found my way back, but I would like to know where that minimap is. Let's see if I can climb up here. Okay, that's impressive. No. There we go. There's some of those carvings right there. And I saw a crate over there. Okay. Let's head that way. Whoa, God. Okay. There it is. It's actually showing up on my HUD now. Here we go. Okay, what did I find now? Another gun? Another. More skill credits. This time a thousand. Why do I think these are going to be. These are either just like the money, or they're a microtransaction re related thing. 
But I think I'm not going to worry about this anymore since my map isn't working right. So um, they need to fix that. Hopefully they will fix that. I mean, unless it's intentional, but then I would need to understand exactly why. And there's the map. And there's still something I missed. I think this is it. I think it's the sculpture. Wait. What about... In here. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I would have never found this had I not gone exploring around. It blends right in, and yet it actually makes geograph or geological sense for there to be a little thing in here. It looks like somebody built a little place in here to hang out and hide. Okay, what are you? Investigate? Collect profile info? Okay. And what are you? Well, I took that. Thank you. Got a laptop still powered up in here. Let's climb the ladder. Aha, a crate. Let's see, more weapons? Let's find another weapon. This is hard enough to find. Maybe it's a, it's a weapon. Okay, it doesn't really... It honestly seems worse than the one I already have. So I, need, I notice these little numbers, like gear score kind of thing. It feels a little like Destiny's light level. Or something you'd see in the division, or something like that. Not sure how I feel about that, but because Ghost Recon wasn't known for that before, it was always about um, tactical shooting. It wasn't about you know run and gun. It wasn't about statistics. It was about extremely smart play. Same with Rainbow Six, honestly. Wildlands kind of did it differently there for a while, but still. All right. So I guess I'm going to keep moving. My mini-map is gone. My mini-map is back. So do I only have a mini-map when I'm in a vehicle? Speaking of which, there's a vehicle. And what is that to the left? Alright, last time I never... I mean, I if I saw it, I ignored it and I drove right past. There's enemies there and there's a question mark there. To the left. You know what? Let's check it out. Let's see. Oh, there's a statue. Hmm. Aha! There's one right there. Let's sneak a little. I'm gonna go to the right here, see if I can get a view of the rest of the compound. Because I have a feeling he's not the only one there. Because it seems like once you've scanned everyone, the red blob goes away. Because now you know who, who and where they are. Where are you? Is that the guy? There's the guy. This is the guy I already knew about. Let's see where he's going. Just walking, walking, going, going past the tree. Where does your patrol route take you? Right there. Can I take... Got him. Nice. Alright. And I picked up a skill point. And there's a crate over there, but where... There's more guys there. I need to find them, and I want to go in not knowing where they are. I 
move up to a more m short to mid-range weapon. Hello, there you are. Is that it? I don't think that's it. I think there's another one. That's a freaky statue. Okay, being slow and methodical, tactical, not messing around. This is, I'm going to be surgical. And there are two crates and a big old question mark. Okay, who's talking? No one's out here, and yet your friend is dead somehow. With a bullet in his head. This is a good spot. Oh, crap. That didn't go well. Alright, that did. We got enemy troops here. More skill credits. I think that's just money. I don't think the other guy even knows I'm here. Okay, where, what's going on? I was passing one of the ancient villages the other day. The whole thing was cleared out. Empty. Vines growing through roofs and all that. Goddamn shame. There's so much history there. Those ancients really cared about the environment. They didn't cause anybody trouble. Now, sentinels round enough to descend. Okay. It's horrible. So, I don't think those are bad guys. Now, where'd that guy go? I saw him come through here. Where is he? Okay, maybe I should hide in... Hmm. Maybe I should hide inside that little bunker building thing. Try to figure out where he is. Let's try that. We'll hide right in here. Until we figure out where he is. Oh! Oh! There he is! Oh, crap! Crap! Sorry to get you in the nuts there, buddy. Thanks for the P90. A little shout out to Stargate SG-1. They started using P90s at some point. Well, here they are. Yeah, these guys are not bad guys. Okay, I can either learn about the Scott Homestead or collect Bye. stash info. No need to be afraid. To really use your help, I'm in this place. I may and know now they're scared again. To you. I, I just had a pleasant it. conversation. Right. I think it's because I just used my gun and killed somebody in front of their faces. Okay. I know there's a crate I can search. Over that way. And my mini map is gone. Again. Let's see, what do we have here? Some ancient artifact? Some mighty weapon to use against my foes? Let's see what I found. A weapon. Yes. And that actually might be better than the one I have. No, nope. I mean, it's better than the long-range thing, but <clears throat> I would rather keep the long-range thing. And here's the other crate over here. I will say doing this little extra exploration has been fun. Let's see what this is. Probably scale credits or something. Yep, thanks for the loot. Can I go back and talk to these guys? I don't appear to be able to get more information out of them. Well, crap. Okay, I guess we're going to head back up. Okay, let's just run up this way. Oh, there's a stamina bar down there. 
And it just ran out. Hmm. I actually think I need to keep going up this way to get where I'm trying to go. And wait, what are... More winding roads. I will say the environmental design is pretty darn good. Like, I will, but I'll also say it is pretty samey at the moment. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of the same stuff, but I'm in, like, basically the tutorial, so I don't know what I'm going to find as I go through the game. This is looking... I like how sometimes it feels like you're about to find something around a corner, and unfortunately you don't, and you end up just finding more road, but... Oh, I picked that up. Oh, I see. Alright, let's see if I can find my way where I'm going here. To keep winding my way up, I should get back to the road I was on and find a vehicle to drive. But it was fun doing that little diversion and stealthily, well, mostly stealthily, taking out that area. Whoa. I think I know where I am. When I played this the first time, there was this bridge here. This is the one place I had to actually fight somebody for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and set up. Whoa, what's this? Something hidden. Over here. There's a crate. But where? Oh, there. And we're going to have to go down in the hole. But we will do that next time. So I hope you'll join me next time for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, this has been Outdated. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And next episode we will explore Ghost Recon Breakpoint some more. And I will see you next time. Peace. Out.